Hey guys, welcome back to Intuitive Tennis 24-7. My mom is visiting me right now here in Florida, all the way from Croatia. And last night, late, we went out to West Lake Worth to look at Christmas lights. Here in the United States, there are some neighborhoods that will decorate their houses with crazy amounts of Christmas lights. And a lot of people go to check it out. So I wanted to show this to my mom. And so late, we went out to West Lake Worth and checked out the Christmas lights. And on the way back on Lake Worth Road, there's a park called the John Prince Park. It's a public park. And I saw the lights on and I just wanted to check it out and see if anybody's playing tennis. And I pull up and I see something that I couldn't believe. The pickleball courts at 9.45 p.m. at night were absolutely packed. There was not a single court open. In fact, there was people at the fence waiting to play while at the same time the tennis courts were completely empty and I could not believe this my mom couldn't believe it that at 10 o'clock at night the pickleball players were out there playing and all the courts were taken so I'm just telling you I understand that the numbers in tennis are looking good tennis is doing quite well based on the statistics but my perception is even though this might be anecdotal that pickleball is more popular than tennis and that's perfectly fine because at this particular park the pickleball courts were separate from the tennis courts and I have absolutely no problem with people playing pickleball in fact it's great that people are out exercising and playing there's absolutely nothing wrong with it so that same night I went home and I was kind of interested to see what's going on in the pickleball world and I went on the internet I went on Twitter I went on Instagram and I saw a few things that I didn't like and here's the problem with pickleball again I don't have anything against the sport but there's a few things that I find fascinating when it comes to pickleball and tennis. In my latest pickleball video that I made, I talked about the fact that the tennis channel is showing pickleball matches and this makes absolutely no sense. Why would you show pickleball matches on the tennis channel? Why would you put pickleball in the tennis magazine? This makes no sense. So the only answer to that is, is because of the money, because pickleball is a trendy thing right now. It's blowing up. It's the fastest growing sport. Okay. And some tennis companies, are using this as an opportunity to make some money. There's no other ways to look at it because another thing that's happening right now, in addition to former professional tennis players starting to play professional pickleball, there's also tennis players investing in pickleball. I'm sure you've seen this. There's tennis players investing money into professional pickleball leagues. Again, these players can invest and do with their money what they want, but one would think, like Renee Stubbs said on Twitter, and I do agree with Renee Stubbs a lot. I want you to follow uh, Renee Stubbs on Twitter. She does a lot of great things in the tennis community. She said, why not invest in tennis if tennis is giving you so much? I'm referring to these professional players that are investing in pickleball. So that's another thing that kind of irks me. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Again, players are free to do whatever they want with their money, but to me, it just doesn't make sense. Also, something that's crazy that i found out yesterday is that now you can get certified in pickleball by the uspta for you guys that don't know the uspta is the largest tennis teacher certification in the world and now you can get certified in pickleball by the uspta but it's not only that the usta itself is promoting pickleball on their website of the national campus, they're saying, let's play pickleball. So guys, does this make any sense to you? Now, I'm just asking you guys, you can write in the comments section. Why would the USTA, the United States Tennis Association, promote pickleball? Well, why not promote badminton and squash and racquetball and then handball while you're at it? You know what handball is? When you slap a ball against the wall with your hand, that's similar to tennis too. Why not promote everything that's related to tennis? on the USDA platform. So guys, you understand my point? It doesn't make any sense to me. Again, I have absolutely nothing against pickleball. I think it's great that people exercise. I like the fact that pickleball is growing. It's fine. I even watch it myself on the tennis channel sometimes, just out of curiosity. But you have to understand that a lot of tennis players are upset because these things need to be separated. Pickleball needs to do its own thing. Tennis needs to be kept separate from pickleball. The biggest pet peeve I have is that tennis courts are being converted to pickleball courts at public facilities all across the United States. But it's not only that, sometimes they will draw lines and the pickleball players will reduce the net. You know those things on the side of the net that you can turn and lower the net? Well, those things require a special key. And once you start turning that, lowering the net, you can't put the net back up. So 
What I've been seeing a lot is net at half mast down so the pickleball players can play pickleball on tennis courts. And a lot of tennis players are upset. This is the problem. There's nothing wrong with pickleball, but tennis needs to be kept separate from it or there's going to be a lot of fighting going on in the future.